Eric, are you more – when you're on shows like this, talking with fans, do you get more questions about playing with LeBron or Allen Iverson? Um, to be honest with you, you know, most of the questions are Allen Iverson and – they end up being more about LeBron when LeBron's usually when LeBron's playing. I think if the yeah. if the Lakers were playing, they would probably lean towards LeBron a little more. Um, but when they're not in season, you know, most people ask me about Allen. But I can usually tell people's age or when they started watching <laughs> basketball, who they like the most. But you know, depending on which which person they ask about. That's where I was going to go with that. I, I know less about Iverson. Uh, uh-huh. Growing up watching him, I, I vividly remember the NBA Finals where you guys were taking on the Lakers with Kobe and Shaq in, what, 2001, I think it was, maybe just after that. But the 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 stories that we would hear about him, we know the practice rant. Uh, uh-huh. wh- where were you for that, by the way, the practice rant? I, I had did my press conference earlier in the day, so I was at home and – you know, back then everything didn't come on television like it like it does now, or it wasn't instant. So, um, I actually was at home, and one of my friends like called me. Was like, "Yo, what, what is AI talking about?" And then that's when TNT kind of just took all of his words and just only played practice. Like, where they were counting like how many times he said practice. <laughs> um, but I kind of knew like where the conversation was supposed to go. <laughs> so I didn't really take it like like it like that. I mean, it was a funny press conference, you know. And the honest, to be honest with you, it was funny. But he he was, you know, somewhat confused because it was, you know, I had a conversation with Coach Brown after I had spoke, and he had mentioned like we got to have Allen practice, so we got to have Allen be Allen Iverson in practice, not Allen practice. Um, so that's when Allen came in. He was confused why they were saying he didn't practice. I think, you know, Coach Brown just wanted him to be the dominant player in our practices to help everybody get better. Um, but it was never about him not, not practicing. And, and Chad, I mean, we would laugh about it too, by the way, Eric, because it's like, <laughs> watch the guy play. I mean, he speaks for itself in the games. Well, in, in watching the guy play, and I'm a huge Iverson fan, uh, passing wasn't his strong suit. Uh, being unselfish wasn't always his strong suit. LeBron James is the opposite. So I think you're a a fascinating person to talk to, Eric, in that you played with an all-time superstar that is known for being almost too unselfish at times and a great passer in LeBron James, and you played with a guy that most people think was a ball hog, was a volume shooter that would not want to give it up, right? Well, it's different. Like, that's that's what people think, and that's how people kind of view it and see it. But from my perspective um, and playing in my position, it was it was different because um, AI allowed me to be who I was. So he shot the ball a lot, but he didn't dominate the basketball. Whereas LeBron James, he's such a dynamic player and the things that he can do, but he does them with the basketball. So that pushes a guy like me to the wing where I'm less effective. So it's just different in how you look at it, where he's able to give the ball up more, but he's also has the ball more, whereas AI just caught it and shot it. So it's just it's just different how you view it. it what, to me, I didn't see one being selfish and another not being selfish. I just think that it was just their best way to help the team win or their best way to dominate. 